Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Retro Game Challenge 2. So, it is time for us to take on the last challenge of Mute Kaiken Kung Fu! But first, we have a magazine to read. February 1986. The Complete Strategy Guide. Get to the end of the stage 2. A 1-Up Trip can Kung Fu and New Scoop on latest game. Notes from a sweaty chief editor. They come up with the, uh... Oh, what was the name of it? The aerobics pad, the dance pad, the, the running pad they had for the NES back then. I can't remember the name of it. I think it was a power pad. No, oh, well, I'll remember it when I'm done with the video. I will remember it then. Hagoman Kume. Who I believe we've seen by now in the uh, daily challenges. So, anyway. Demon Returns. Another game I'm pretty sure I've played in the daily challenges so far. Huh. A guy turned evil by an evil curse. Defeat Underworld Queen. And the Queen's Underworld. Let's march through stages. Tricks to that. Right around the, there's nothing but you can reveal the hit mark. Keep hitting a mark and a giant Sashihoko will appear. Hmm. Hawks will be defeated by a kick and then punch. Or if you punch, then kick. Yeah. If you are good enough with the against the Hawks, I don't know if I am. Breathes fire, huh? Okay. The bear. Oh yeah, a black bear there. Stage two, huh? Yay. Huh. Okay. So he's a rolling boss. So only so a member exclusive version of Haggleman, huh? Interesting. Find the secret one up on stage three. If you can punch bullets back, you get one ups. Okay. And also a floppy drive system for the GameCom. Nifty. Raw steak dripping with blood. You know, I don't mind, you know, fairly rare meat. I really don't. I mean, I prefer medium, you know. I don't, but not dripping with blood. Just no. It, it's not generally good. It just doesn't taste good. Ah, and our favorite kung fu game. Or the only one we've got in here, anyway, is number one in sales. Yay! Sweaty Chief Editor. So he's sweaty because he has high hopes and he's excited and all that. Okay! So let's see what we can do. Actually, let's back out of this. I'm gonna see what he says. Uh huh. So you think the controller makes a difference? Kinda does. Except for the Gamecom. Or Famicom. They were kind of the same-ish, except for the microphone. But you know. Anyway. Still kinda weird that the controllers were permanently attached to the system. At least in everything I've ever seen about the Famicom. Hey, let's remind ourselves here. Beat the stage two boss. Okay. I just started. No, we're not. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've seen oh. that before. So that was the tip. Just kind of powered us through stage one. Wow, I gotta be careful. Hopefully I get a uh, health recharge. Come on. Oh, good. Because I wasn't paying any attention. I'm making a mess out of this stage. I like the music, though. Miss the mark. And time that jump way too late. I am really not doing very well this stage. There we go. Unfortunately, it we lose it. Ah.
I got lucky there. And just barely, by the skin of my teeth, do I survive. But it works! Because I am alive and the boss isn't. That's how this works. Yes, it is. So what's next? Maybe. You know, it's very, very possible he could do that to us. Look, it, it does get expensive. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So what's next? Demon Returns. Prepare to see me fail a lot. Because... Well, you'll see. Platformer time. Uh-huh. I didn't have much of a choice, did I? Reminds me of someone else. Demon Returns. Okay. Kind of. Just a little. Right on the back of a spinning enemy. This should go really, really quick. Right is the most important attack in Demon Returns. Because it kind of gives you extra hits, but kind of leaves you playing on permanent ice. You'll see what I mean if you haven't watched the Daily Challenge yet. Yes, you can. You just did. See? That's how it works. Come on, we did it before. So again, a new game fan. That's gone! Oh no. Oh, he already put it in the bookshelf. How kind of him. So this is we already read through a magazine a little bit ago. We will delay the magazine reading because we have a new game to check out. Break your spirit to miss a jump? Eee. So let's look at the manual instead of the new magazine. And then... Hopefully we'll have time for at least one challenge, because it's a fairly fast challenge to do. And I kind of like the art. It's a little... Eh, the art's a little rough for me, but hey. You know. Welcome to Hades World. That's missing one of the quotation marks. Found a cute princess for some, but then the insect Damon came looking for her. He's only wandering around, but he'll probably end up here, right? Move, jump, spin claw, hold B to jet, hold B to run. Land on an enemy and press A for an extra high jump. The screen layout. We'll have to get through 16 stages to get the princess back. So yeah, damsel in distress story, but you know. Kinda standard for the day, sadly, but still, standard for the day. Apple Gauge. So yeah, we have, there will be little collectibles, little apples popping up all over the place, and if we don't constantly eat, we will die. Kinda how it works. And 
break blah, break blocks, use the spin claw, you know, fun things there. And blades across the stage, if you get hit, you lose the ride, but you know. You can collect medals in blocks and various other places to become, grow up like uh, Super Mario's Mushroom, and then another coin will let you have a little distance attack. I don't think it's a great distance attack, but you know, you get hit and you lose everything, just like, you know, Mario and the Mushrooms and the Fire Flower. So let's see, the apples restore one apple, gold apples give you a full, a, uh, full refill, jewel is score, and souls appear when you defeat enemy and you get 100 get you a free life. Extra medals. Spark medal. Become invincible. One up medal. Apple medal. Reveals hidden apples. Pretty explanatory. And the little skull medal hurts you. Doesn't kill you, but you know. Skull block can be broken. Devil block will reveal something inside. Devil pot. You spin it, and then moving platforms fall. The princess, blonde-haired, purple-eyed princess. The royal family of the underworld. The four elite princes. In other words, you have to beat them. In other words, the bosses of the major, the four major areas. And yes, yeah, spinning scissors. Actually, some of these are kind of. You'll have to see when you ride them, which you will see in more detail, not this challenge, but the next one, probably. They each have different attributes. Like, one is actually can hit other enemies. That type of thing. You'll see. So let's see, some bad advice. Keep your eyes close to the screen to make them go bad, play until you collapse, break the cartridge contacts, spill water or alcohol on it, and of course, remove the cartridge with the power on. So let's see what we got. Right on the back of a spinning enemy. That's all you have to do for this first challenge. So let's do it, shall we? Cut your own! Like that, see? That's all he did. We just have to do that without dying. Game over. Well, challenge over anyway. But you saw, just in the time it took me to do that, that the apple gauge went down a mark. Yeah. So you don't get to dawdle too much. Anyway, yes, ride is means riding on enemies. It's also different depending on who you ride. Yeah. You know, I don't think that's the problem. There are many other problems associated with someone who gets kidnapped repeatedly, but changing name isn't usually isn't usually the first thing you think of when you come to solving the problem. In this case, it's having more, uh, you know, more imaginative people writing stories. Go figure. Well, yeah, you gave it to me as a challenge. I can't not play it if I want to finish. It's kind of... it's kind of a give-and-take situation. Although it's not really a give-and-take situation, it's just me having to do we have to play the little puppet on the strings for you. But that aside, at least it's a fun game. Really? Well, yeah. Destroy a block with the spin tornado, which means we need two moon medals and then fire a spin tornado, which will take a little bit longer.
I can't remember if we can do this in the just stage one or if we actually have to go into stage two. Especially if you get hit. Then you'll have, definitely have to go into stage two. But the, or stage one, two, I guess. Why was he changed to a demon? He was cursed. You know, I can't really argue that, but I wouldn't be jealous of it. I mean, I'm jealous about the fact that he has all day to spend doing something that isn't work or school, but, you know, he got cursed. But anyway, on that note, it's time to call this a video. When we return, we have a magazine, and we have more challenges. So until then, take care, folks. Later.